Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to work on the unit create and edit aura component from the module aura components basic. This is the third unit of this module. So the second unit was basic quiz type. So I've not covered this uh, for as part of this module. So here in this challenge, we will be creating some components and then we will also uh, use the components in order to create reusable components as well. As you will see over here, that we have to increase your reusability by using other components to compose this component. So our parent component is going to be by the name camping. And inside that, we are going to create two other components and we'll be using it inside this camping component. So the two other components that we are going to use inside this will be camping list and the camping header. So before we create uh, this camping, the parent component, we will first work on these child components. So these are the two uh, camping lists, which will show the list of the uh, camping items, which is provided over here. And we have to display it in the form of ordered list. So we will be using these tags over here in this component. And the second component, which is camping header, we have to use uh, this uh, H1 tag in order to uh, show this uh, label or the heading inside this camping header. And we will also apply the CSS in this as well. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground, which I've already done over here. And you have to go to Setup icon. And we have to open the developer console in order to create the aura component. Now, there are two ways you can create. You can just simply click on this. It will open up in a separate new window. Or you can just right click on this and open it up in a new tab. So I'm going to open this up on a new tab. So I'll click on this open link in a new tab. So this will give me the feasibility to switch between the tabs. Otherwise, I'll have to switch between the windows and that uh, I'm not comfortable with that. So if you are comfortable with the new window, you can proceed with that. So uh, moving on, uh, first of all, we will be creating our very first component. Uh, let's say we will be creating camping list. So I'll copy this uh, name from here and going back to develop console, go to files, click on new. And here uh, you have to uh, select lightning component. So select this option. In the name, I'm going to provide the name which I just copied. So just paste this in the label uh, name text area and just click on submit. That's all we have to do. Now here uh, we have to simply display the, uh, these uh, list items in an ordered list. So let's go back and there is this tag, HTML tag OL, which specify that our list is an ordered list. And inside that uh, we'll use LI tag, list tag in order to specify each of the items we have to mention in our list. So very first is bug spray. So I'll go back here and play, paste it inside the LI tag. Now, moving on the next line, I'll again add one more uh, tag of li or the list tag and copy this beer repellent and paste it inside this tag. Now, the third item again has to be displayed in the same manner. So let's copy this goat food and paste it between these tags. That's all we had to do uh, for the first child component, which is camping list. Now, the second one is camping header. So I'll again copy this name. Going back to the web console, I'll go to files, click on new, and here I will select a uh, lightning component. In, uh, instead of name camping list, I will paste camping header over here. And these are the places where uh, you would uh, like to show your or make your component visible. Lightning tab, lightning page, uh, this will show up on the record detail page. And a side page is also their option. Uh, we have we have lightning quick action. So as of now, we are not selecting this. Uh, if you will, if you want to, if you want to see uh, this uh, component in work, you can simply create a lightning app from here, uh, developer console itself, and then we can see that. So I'll show you in a while how we can do that. So first of all, we am going. I'm not going to select any option from here. Just click on submit. So this will create another component camping header. And now inside this, what we have to do is simply we have to add one heading inside H1 tag. So I will copy this label camping list from uh, this challenge. And going back here, I will add H1 tag. And inside that, I will paste camping list. 
Now we have to play uh, also give the CSS in the CSS file camping header dot CSS file. We have to give this uh, uh, CSS to our component or the header. So let's go back to developer console and on your far right, you will see that there is this file controller helper style. So controller and helper basically contains all the JS functionality or the JavaScript functionality you want to perform. Uh, as of now, we, as per this challenge, we do not have any JS code to uh, perform in our uh, helper files. So we are not going to go into these as of now for this challenge. Now we have something to write in our style file, which will be dot CSS uh, extension file. So as you can see over here, this is camping header dot CSS file. Now inside this, what I'll do is I will add H1 dot then this and i'll add brackets and inside that i'm going to paste the uh, css that i've just copied and instead of two i have to replace it with colon and after that just terminate it with the semicolon just save this and this uh, css will be applied to our h1 tag so here this css will be applied to camping list and it will make our camping list header to 18 px uh font size okay i'm sorry yeah so um uh, moving on here uh, next thing we have to do is we have created both the child components or the reusable components which is camping header and camping list now we have to use the these component inside a parent component which will go which will be uh having the name as camping so i will copy this Go back to your developer console and here I'm going to create a new uh, lightning component again. And instead of camping header, I will paste the name camping. I'm not selecting any option from here as of now, just click on submit. So this will create third component, which is the parent component. And inside this, what I will do is simply, I will call these two child components. So uh, the first component that I will be calling it will be camping header as header should be on the top. So I will just copy this name from here. And in order to call the component, we use this C uh, colon and the name of the component and just close this like this. And again, C colon camping list component. So I will just copy this as well from the challenge and paste it over here in the developer console. That's all we had to do. Now, if you will click on, uh, now if you go, just go back to your challenge and if you click on uh, this button, you will be able to uh, save this, you will be able to pass this challenge. But in order to view this component in action, what you can do is you have to just simply go to new, hover over this new uh, option and there is this option uh, lightning application so you can create an application uh, you can say that uh, my components this is a disclaimer that this is not part of your uh, challenge it, this is simply i'm showing how you can test your components so my component i'm giving this name and i'll just click on submit now inside this i'm just going to call my parent component which goes by the name camping so i'll what i'll do is again i will use c colon and just simply type the name camping we are using the parent component which holds these two so it will simply uh, call the other child components as well and i have called this parent and just click on preview so this will open up the uh, application or the component which we just created so you can see over here that camping list heading is coming and there is this ordered list containing all the three uh, list items that we had provided with the uh, one to three list items that's all uh, we had to do so this was an extra part which i wanted to show how you can call your components from developer console itself without adding it into any uh uh, without adding it into your actual Salesforce org. So now it's time to check our challenge. Just click on check challenge and hopefully we should be able to pass this uh, challenge as well. So let's just wait.
there you go this unit is completed see you in the next video with another unit or module till then take care thank you